How good is Archie and Kyogre actually? How's it going guys? In today's video, we will have an in-depth analysis of Archie and Kyogre, the other new Master Fair unit coming to the game. Make sure to subscribe for future Pokemon Masters content and let's get started. So Archie and Kyogre is a special water type striker weak to grass. Let's go over its stats. It has 688 HP which is really high. It has pretty bad attack and special attack but it kind of like cancels out right because Archie can summon rain and rain boosts the attack by 50%. If you compare to uh, Maxi, you have about 50% less special attack right. 327 on Maxi and then 271. No, not 50%. Actually, not, not, not a lot, actually, like 25% or something. The special attack is reduced to cancel out the rain effect, right? Rain increases water damage by 50%, so that's why. But overall, Kyogre can still do a lot of damage. I will show like the calculations, damage calculations at the end of the video, so make sure to watch until the end. So, for defense and special defense, it's pretty bad, actually. For a striker, it's pretty bad, so you do need like physical and special defense support. So for the speed, speed is not bad, it's decent. And then for team skill, it's water strike, hoin strike, villain strike, bodybuilder strike, and nature lover strike. So let's go over his passive. So similar to Maxi, he has a master passive, and it's pretty much the same as Maxi, but instead of physical attack, it's special attack. So what it does is it increases special attack damage and take 25% less special attack damage for your entire team and then for every one extra Hoenn using pair on your team you get 15% more special damage to a max of 50% and then 3% less special damage taken to a max of 31% if you have a team full of Hoenn sing pairs including Archie and Kyogre then your entire team will deal 50% more special damage and take 31% less special damage so it's pretty good, a good passive because there's quite a lot of Hoenn Sing pairs actually and Mei can definitely be like a really good, a really solid teammate for Archie right because Mei can set up rain as well and then she has like racing rain and raging rain passive so she can benefit from rain a lot and then on top of that she is also a Hoenn Sing pair and a water type which means there's more stat buffs, she's gonna do a lot more damage. So for the second passive, it's Downpour. Downpour, basically, he summons Rain at the beginning of the battle. Third passive is Shower Surge 3, quickly charges the move gauge when the weather is rainy and also powers up moves when the weather is rainy. So it charges move gauge faster and then plus 30% extra damage in Rain. Third alert 5, extends the duration of the rain while the user is on field. The 5 behind Third alert 5, I believe it's 50% longer, 50% extra duration. I'm not too sure. So if it's 50% then it's 12 turns becoming 18 turns, which means like 1.5 sync cycle. So let's go over his moves. The first one is Origin Pulse. It's a 4 gauge AOE special water move with a power of 2 to 6 at max level. 5 out of 5, 85 accuracy. He has X special attack and then he has thunder, a 148 special electric move and it never misses in rain which is really good because when you're using Archie you pretty much want rain all the time right because he benefits a lot of stuff from rain including some stuff from his Singrid as well which we will go over later and he also has a 30% chance to paralyze using thunder which is pretty good right you can definitely run him as an electric striker right Definitely 100%. For his trainer move, it's open the oceans. It's slightly different from Maxi's trainer move because one of the reasons is because open the oceans is only one use, right? Compared to Maxi, which is two uses. So for open the oceans, basically what it does is it plus one accuracy, plus three crit, minus two defense and special defense. And if it's rainy, then you plus two special attack and then plus one extra accuracy. So if it's under rain, you get plus two accuracy, plus three crit, plus two special attack, but at a cost of 
minus two defense and minus two special defense. So one thing that Archie is slightly better than Maxi is that he can max out his crit and special attack, and then guarantees a hundred percent accuracy on Origin Pulse in one sync turn. Because you use his trainer move once, you get plus two special attack and then plus three crit. And then you use his X special attack twice, you get an extra plus 4 special attack. Meaning you have a max of plus 6 special attack with plus 3 crit. And then with plus 2 accuracy, right, you pretty much have a 100% accurate move on Origin Pulse. However, at plus 2 accuracy, Thunder will not become a 100% accurate move, sadly. It will only become 93%. So if you plan to run a Thunder build, you might have to bring uh, accuracy support. And then his Sing Grid, there's no Thunder accuracy grid. So that kind of sucks. And then one more thing I want to mention is that his trainer move will make him gradually heal himself, which is really nice. At one out of five, honestly, it's pretty bad. If you plan to summon him, it's best to aim two out of five because one out of five grid is really bad. There's pretty much nothing here. You only have X attack and PR which you do not need because you can max out his special attack anyways, why would you want that? The origin of pulse accuracy is also useless because you can plus 2 accuracy and then have 100% origin pulse. You really have no reason to take this. It's a waste of energy. So 1 out of 5 is pretty bad. 2 out of 5 we have access to some decent stuff. You get origin pulse MGR3, 40% chance to game of gauge. MPR2 for open the oceans which you do not need because well, unless you're playing villa, better villa then maybe you can take this but other than that, you don't really need this. We have thunder MGR3 and then thunder paralysis synergy 1. 10% more damage when the target is paralyzed which is not a lot actually, 10%. And then you have to paralyze the opponent as well which is a 30% chance with thunder right. And then torrential tenacity, this... This one, it depends actually. If the stage has no opponent that can flinch, confuse or whatever, then you don't need this, it's a waste. But we have Rain Gear 2, it reduces damage by 20% when it's raining, which is pretty good. Because like I said, Kyogre has a very bad defense, right? It's only 1-1-2 one, one, and 1-2-1, one, one, which is pretty bad. So this can definitely help a lot. And then on top of that, he has his Master Passive as well. So it can reduce damage by quite a bit. Maybe by like half, possibly. So 2 out of 5 grid is pretty solid. So 2 out of 5 grid, you definitely want ring gear 2, right? And then it depends on what build you want, right? If you want thunder, you take all the thunder stuff. If you don't want thunder, you want origin pulse, then you take all the origin pulse except for accuracy, but accuracy is useless. And then one more thing I want to point out is that for some weird reason, Kyogre special attack plus 10 is 4 energy. But Groudon's attack plus 10 is only 2 energy, which is pretty weird, right? Both are plus 10, but one is cheaper than the other, which is, I don't know why. But this one is slightly more expensive, 2 energy, and I mean, yeah, 2 energy extra, which is 4 energy. So you, you maybe you want to take that as well, because plus 10, plus 10 is a decent amount. So yeah, you have 13 more energy to spare after Origin Powers, you can just pick any stat buffs or whatever you want I mean you there's still power up here you can take that so yeah and then for thunder thunder like I said already you just take all the thunder stuff here MGR and parallel paralysis synergy one and then take thunder here and you have yeah you have nine more energy you can just take some stat buffs I guess just take some stats or I don't know you maybe you want do a hybrid build or something. It's up. Think really, it's really up to you guys. It depends on what. Uh, it depends on what you guys wanna do with it. There's a lot of potential, right? There's creativity. You can do whatever you want. For three out of five grid, you get access to how a healthy power up one powers up moves when the user is user HP is full, which is useless. It's only 10% and 8 energy, it's useless honestly. HP is full, I mean you have gradual heal on your uh, trader move right? So maybe you can always maintain at full HP, but it's not really recommended, it's kind of useless. It's just better, there's just, there's just better options out there. 
Leg up 1 is also useless. Reduce 10% chance to reduce sting countdown when you enter the battle, which means you enter the battle, which is like once a uh, once per battle, once per battle thing, right? So yeah, it's useless. Just don't take it. It's bad. The super rain four has a good chance. There's a 50% chance to apply the super effective up next effect when it's rainy. Definitely, it's a pretty good passive. If you have a super effective next effect, then you would do 50% extra damage, which is really good actually. Rainy Propulsion 1, it's useless honestly. 20% chance to reduce a uh, sick move when the move is successful in the rain. Honestly, not useful. Then we have Thunder Raging Rain 5. This thing, this thing is, this one is good. If you are running a Thunder Grid, definitely take this. 50% extra damage when raining, it's really good. Thunder MGR3, you get extra. So if you take both, you have a 51% chance to get one move gauge, at least one move gauge. And then maybe you want to consider ditching Paralysis Synergy 1 because Raging Rain 5 and Paralysis Synergy 1 are both 8 energy and one of them deals 50% more damage, I mean 40% more damage than the other one. So you might want to consider this, ditching this. If you have 3 out of 5, you don't need that anymore. Then you have Shower Power 3, it powers up sync moves. Definitely, if you are running a, a sync nuke build, then you can try this. But Kyogre is not really a good sync nuker. It's only 30% extra damage compared to other strikers. They have like inertia and stuff, right? Inertia doubles your sync move damage. This one is only 30%, which is kind of useless. Not useless, but like, it's not that good. You might as well just run Kyogre as like a DPS unit, right? Not a sync nuker. You have shower sync. Honestly, no. It's only the first time and it's 15 energy. No, don't take it. So for his build, right? Super Rain 4, I really recommend taking this. If the stage is weak to electric or water, right? Take this, right? And then if it's origin if you want to do an origin powers build, you do this, you take all of this, and then you take raining gear. Move one of this, and then you take a random stat, something like this, right? So origin powers you take MGR. It's important, right? MGR three because a four gauge move is very expensive. And yeah, this one, and then four thunder, thunder super rain four you take, rain gear two take as well, and then thunder you definitely want raging rain five, and then you take this. You have seven more MGR three. Perfect. So yeah. So right now, we're gonna do a comparison between Mei and Mega Swampert and Archie and Kyogre. Because they are both quite similar, right? Swampert has an AoE water special move as well, which is Muddy Water. Kyogre also has an AoE but it's 4 gauge move. So first of all, I want to say that you can definitely run both of them on the same team, right? Because they really they really benefit from each other, right? Being Hoenn Sing pairs, and then they do really well, good damage under rain, and then you get fifty percent extra damage because of rain, right? And then there's Racing Rain two or something, Racing Rain two, twenty percent extra damage in rain, and then there's also Downpour. And not down poor, so, uh, Shower Surge 3, 30% extra damage on Kyogre. So they can do a lot of damage. A lot, a lot, a lot. So there's a few things, like a few differences I want to bring out. So the first thing is Mei cannot fully max out her special attack. It's only you raises plus one special attack and crit. So want to consider bringing in like a special attack support. A buffer, special attack buffer, and crit as well, because she only plus one crit, unless you have MPR, which maybe you want to take it, maybe not, it depends. The other thing is that Mei is tankier, right? She has higher defense and special defense, so she can tank, but she is also slower. Make sure to keep that in mind. But she has Raging Rain 5 anyways, I mean for Mega, right? Raging Rain 5. Pre-Mega is... Raging Rain 3. So let's compare the damage between Origin Powers and Muddy Water. So the first thing for Kyogre, we have 
Rain Gear 2 and Super Rain 4. And then we have Origin Powers, Power Up and stuff, right? For May, May has Refreshing Rain 1, Can Heal. And then Power Resource 4, you don't really need this because this is kind of risky, right? Uh, plus 40% plus damage when your HP is low. So you probably only use like a few times before you die. So yeah. So here is the damage calculation. You have May. May has Racing Rain 2, Dizzing Power. Racing Rain 2 and Dizzing Power is from her passive. And then Power Reserve 4 is from her grid. And then Archie has Hoenn Spirit. I put 50% assuming the entire team is full of Hoenn Sing pairs. Shower Surge 3 from his passive. Super Rain 4 from his grid. Assuming it's a super effective hit, right? So, in terms of damage, Archie definitely does more because BP is a lot higher. But, 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 a big but. The last row here is damage per gauge. So May can do 3679 and Archie can do about 300 more. Which is not a lot actually. It's only a little bit. So in terms of damage, both of them are quite similar. Archie still do a little bit more damage. But May I kinda cheated and put power reserve three eh, power reserve four. So if we remove that, it becomes a larger gap, right? 1000 difference. So it depends actually and then I'm also I also kinda cheated for Archie because I put 0 0.5 for Hoenn Spirit, right? A 50% buff. Assuming he has like a team full of Hoenn Sync pairs. So overall damage is still not like big difference. If you guys are wondering about a Sync Nuke, May just does way more damage on Sync Nuke. Like holy crap. More than double man. That is a lot. Because May has from her Sync move alone, you double it. She has, the description says this move's power increases when the weather is rainy, so you double it. And then she has Highland Sync in her grid, so the passive 135 becomes 3, so you triple. And yeah, it's a lot of damage. And then for Kachi and Kyogre, he only has Shower Power 3 in his grid, which is only at 30%, so it's really not a lot of damage. Like, so like I said previously, if you want to run Archie and Kyogre, just run them as... Uh, DPS. Though keep in mind that for 6 star, Archie can do like AoE right? And May can do another 50% extra damage. So do keep that in mind. Let's move on to should you summon. Should you summon Archie and Kyogre? Honestly, you do not need him. If you already have May, then you really don't need him. Honestly. Because like the damage calculation proves, the gap between their damages are not that far and May does more than double damage on Sing Nuke. So honestly if you have May, you do not need to summon him. But if you really like Archie then good luck. No one is stopping you from summoning. Just make sure you don't spend too much money because this game is hella expensive. So yeah. So this is it for the video guys. If you guys enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.